Hi, I'm Matt and welcome back to Soil Lab. I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to everybody that's been engaging and commenting on our videos. This most recent video we did comparing humic acid to charged and uncharged biochar got a lot of comments. And fortunately, we kept that study going along just long enough that we're able to address most of those comments. The through line we saw was really in root mass comparisons. So what we're gonna be doing today is taking plugs of our turf grass, washing those root systems and comparing them amongst treatments. And then we're gonna do a full root wash of all the tomato treatments as well, comparing that root mass also. Follow along. So first we've got our untreated control. We'll get all these set out so that we can have a good look at that above ground growth in comparison. So if you haven't had an opportunity to see our last video, be sure to check the link in the description below uh, so that you can see our full discussion of the above ground comparison of density, color, and overall turf grass health. Um, but as you can see here, we have our untreated control above ground. It's a little lighter green, a little less dense. These next three received fertilizer treatments plus either humic acid or biochar or a combination thereof. And you can see for yourself, there still are some differences. The question now is what are the differences below ground? So so let's go ahead and get our plugger and figure that out. All right, we're able to get a full depth plug. What we'll do now is slide this back and drop this plug out. And that'll be our first look. Once we get all these plugged, we'll go ahead and start with our root wash. Again, in these last three treatments, we see roots coming out of the bottom. It'll be really interesting once we get these washed to see a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, got great plugs, very complete plugs out of each of these. So we should have a really good look here in just a moment. All right, though, there's a lot of different ways to do a root wash, and we always just kind of play it by ear. Um, today, we're based on where the soil moisture is, and because these are such fibrous roots, I want to be sure that we're really not tearing any of these roots apart and over or under representing that root mass between one treatment or another. So we're just going to go straight to water and give these just a nice little plunge or soak, trying our best not to disrupt any of those roots. When we're dealing with a native soil like this, this can take a bit of time. If you're in a coarser, sandier soil, um, this is gonna be a really easy wash for you. For those of you um, that have that nice clay soil, uh, you might need to use just a little bit of pressure um, to help rinse these roots. And in fact, we might have just enough clay that we need to go that route um, as well. As I'm rinsing these, I'm just kneading um, the, the plug a little bit, trying not to tear or rip at it, put any lateral pressure on it. And we're starting to get a look at that root mass and those nice fibrous roots. I'll just give it a little bit of a dab dry. All right, well, after all that rinsing excitement, we have our untreated control uh, root mass here. Yeah, I like it. That's awesome. So that was our best effort at a root wash. Um, always can be challenging, especially when we're using those native soils. So like you saw, we just did a kneading of that plug to get most of the loose soil off. And then to be sure we didn't injure any roots, we gave it a nice low pressure spray just to do the rest of the cleaning. So as we take a look here, we see our untreated control had the lowest root mass. It seems to me that our next treatment with the humic acid had the best root mass, but really without any replications, it's tough to be out absolute about that. We certainly saw the two that included humic tended to have better rooting mass than the biochar alone, but this biochar was still deeply rooted and had pretty significant root mass. Now, 
What you won't be able to see on camera, but that I could feel while I was washing the roots, is these two treatments, the Humic and the Humic with Biochar, had noticeably thicker, denser roots, especially in that top inch and a half uh, of soil as I, was, as I was cleaning those. So overall, what we saw is the untreated control had the lowest root mass, the treatments, regardless of them, were best, but it's tended to be the humic acid treatments had better rooting mass than the Biochar alone. Drop a note in the comments below with what your thoughts are. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the tomatoes. So for my typical root wash, I would have these tomatoes in individual pots or containers, and it'd be a little simpler than what you're probably gonna see here. But because of your comments, we're gonna give it our best with what we've got, and that's gonna be a whole container three plant root wash. Um, I'll do my very best to not injure any roots and to keep these plants separate. If my confidence appears to be wavering a little bit here, well, that's cause it is. Come look at the roots at the bottom, Rob. Got great rooting all the way down to the bottom. You can see that those plants kept looking um, for moisture. I just thought it'd be great to have a look at that root now, just in the off chance that I don't save them all. God, I wish you guys, I wish they could smell this. Like you can just smell the tomato plant right now, like you're in a greenhouse. Yeah, That's it's cool. crazy. Try this just a little different to try to. All right, so you just saw me give my best effort at a root wash on these tomatoes. Now, I can't promise that I didn't break a root off here and there, but we do happen to have three replications of each of our tomatoes. So this is a really good representation of what each treatment did. Here we see the untreated control with very little root mass. Remember, that was just planted directly into a native soil, no amendments added, no fertilizer added. Then we move over to our humic only and our humic plus biochar treatment. Now, you can be the judge yourself, but it seems to me like our root density is greater here as compared to our biochar only. But when I look at the biochar, it appears that we got much longer roots consistently across the three plants that received that. Now, remember, all three of these got the treatment, humic, humic and biochar and biochar plus fertilization per the my soil test now let's go ahead and compare this to our turf grass treatments side by side to see if we see similar trends So what we're seeing here is our untreated control, our humic, our humic plus biochar, and our biochar only. And I'd argue that we see similar trends between both the turf grass as well as the tomato plants. As we look at our untreated controls, they had the lowest root mass, which makes sense. There was no amendment and no fertilizer. Then we look at our humic treatment. Um, this humic treatment had pretty good root density and pretty good depth, but maybe wasn't quite the top performer. The biochar and humic, again, I think looks pretty similar to this humic treatment um, and it has really good shallow mass. And then as we look at our biochar only treatment, we had really good rooting depth 
but maybe just a little less density, especially that shallow density. So why do we care? For me in my situation, if I'm drip irrigated in my garden, um, I might like this shallower, denser root to capture more nutrient and water um, in that bed. Whereas if I'm in a native soil, um, native soil garden, I might like this deeper rooting depth to get down to those reserves in the soil a bit deeper. Regardless of your situation, these amendments and these fer this fertilization program with the MySoil test certainly enhanced uh, root density and root mass as well as rooting depth compared to doing nothing. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and if you want to know when our latest studies come out, be sure to hit that notification button as well. As always, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the lab.